Welcome to the channel called CAD with Mr. Hugh on the YouTube platform. In today's video, we'll be looking at the technical drawing SB requirements for the building students. Okay. In the previous video, we looked at the design considerations to design a, a product. Your product would um, be a building or a furniture. So perhaps you could visit that video to see um, if you could um, get some inspiration from that video. We aim to become your favorite AutoCAD resource online. Good. And we, we are glad that you are joining us to get some additional information. Now, please follow the guidance of your teacher and any questions that you have. Um, I hope that um, you will ask your teacher for further clarification. Are right, we going to move forward to the SB requirements. Thanks for joining us. Looking forward to seeing you. Um, we're going to post uh, build some set of building drawings. First one will be the plan, then some elevations, then a side plan, and a roof plan, and then some um, details for the building. So looking forward to seeing you joining us back again. And please like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you. Take care until we meet again. The CSEC technical drawing building option SBA requirements. That is the focus of today's video. Please note that this video is only a guide. So please follow your teacher's instructions and ask any relevant questions you have with your teacher. Okay? We will be looking at the Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate, CSEC, Technical Drawing SBA Requirements. The CSEC Technical Drawing SBA Requirements are as follows. We have three sections. We have section A, B, and C. So we're going to highlight the different sections. The first page, before we look at the different sections, will be the page that has the information about the student, his name, his ID number, his school, his territory, and his teacher, and the year of the exam, which would be uh, May 20, whatever the year it is. The CSEC Technical Drawing SBA Requirements are as follows for section a which is which is entitled fundamentals of industry the first thing that the candidate will be expected to do is to define the term industry now similarly if you're doing a business subject there are different types of industries so in the in in the industrial setting or in our technical drawing setting we will be required to define an industry then having given a general definition of what an industry entails you will the candidate will now define a construction industry all right then the candidate will also Describe um, what, what is it, the term manufacturing industry? What does it mean? Right? And then having completed those three sections, which is define the term industry, define the construction industry, and define the manufacturing industry, the next requirement in section A is to define the term an organizational structure. What is an organizational structure? All right. It's similar in business. They set up an organization based on the, the type of business structure that they want to run their business. And it's the same um, structure that you use in business that you would use to set up a show this the organizational structure in the technical drawing SBA. All right, having, having described the term organizational structure, the candidate will 
explain the different types of organizational structures. In business, there are three main types of organizational structures. And these same organizational structures that are used in business is the same requirement that is needed in the technical drawing SBA. Having explained the different types of organizational structures, and as I said previously, there are three of them. This candidate will show the diagrams to illustrate um, each of these organizational structures that they spoke about previously. All right. All right. So we're moving on now to the next slide. We're still in section A. And we are looking at the CSEC, Technical Drawing SBA Requirements, all right? So we're still in section A. In this section, right, we are looking at the occupational health and safety with respect to technical drawing or an industrial setting. So that's a big, um, that's, that, this would be the title for this part of the SB, right? Then the next thing we'll be looking at is the types of fires. Now there are different types of fires, right? And in this requirement, the candidate will um, identify the different types of fires, all right? Moving on to the next um, item. The candidate will look at the different types of fire extinguishers, okay? So there are different types of fire extinguishers. The candidate will explain these and illustrate with diagrams, right? The same thing will hold true for the different types of fires, right? We'll show diagrams to illustrate the different types of fires, all right? Basic diagrams, right? All right. The third thing on the agenda for... Section A, Occupational Health and Safety, is 15 safety rules, all right? Then having completed the list of 15 safety rules, this, the, the candidate will write uh, uh, an accident report, all right? And an accident report is a detailed um, documentation of an incident which happened, okay? Good. After the candidate has finished writing the report for an accident, it, it doesn't have to be a real accident, okay? Then the next thing the candidate will be required to do is to define the different types of lines that are used in technical drawing. So in technical drawing, we use different lines to represent our objects. These objects can represent a building, a mechanical part, a piece of furniture, or an idea. Could be a design, right? So we use different types of lines in technical drawing. So what the candidate is expected to do is to show the different types of lines and and explain their uses right and this is this 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 candidates would have been at this stage of the the program would have been um familiar with the different types of lines that we use in um technical drawing so they 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 will be just um be putting it that information in this document called the C technical drawing SB. All right. Importantly, in technical drawing, we also use different symbols to communicate our design ideas. All right. So in technical drawing, there are standard symbols that are used to um to be placed on a on a drawing. Right. So for example. If we are looking at a road code book, for example, a symbol for a stoplight would be an octagon, um, a triangular-shaped um, sign represent maybe a caution sign, uh, a rectangle sign in the road 
the road safety book, this book that you would use to um, study before you would get your driver's license to do the to do the driving test. There are different symbols in that book, and I know the stop sign is an easy one. Is a um, is an octagon. The triangular shape one with the round corners. I don't remember spe specifically what it represent as I said, I don't remember this caution and then there is a rectangular one, right? So it's the same thing in technical drawing. We use different symbols to communicate um different um requirements on our drawings. Okay? Alright, the next thing we're looking on um the next thing that the candidate will be looking on under the technical drawing heading on the section A having described the Types of lines, symbols, is the conventions, right? Having completed the conventions, then the candidate will be looking at the different codes that he use for technical drawing, right? Good. Now the candidate is almost finished now because to close off section A now, the candidate will be required to um, discuss the different types of technical drawing instruments and equipment and to to show the different instruments it would include the diagrams right so the diagram for the different drawing instruments and equipment all right so they would explain what they are and also show a diagram okay all right, so we would have been completed with section A. So we'll be going, going on now to section B. Now in section B, right, this is a drawing component, right? So in this section, the candidate will be required to draw the geometrical drawings, right? Now, part B, has two sections. We can call it part one and part two. Part one is plane geometry. Part two is solid geometry. All right? Now, there are specific requirements for this section, right? And what are the requirements for part one and two? All right, so the candidate for part, um, when doing um, section B, of the CSEC technical drawing SBA will produce three drawings for plane geometry, three drawings for solid geometry, right? And that would be the requirement that the candidate is expected to fulfill for section B, okay? Section C for the building students has three components. The first is the building drawing section, a set of plans, drawings. Then you have the business plan. And thirdly, you have the product design specification. So we'll be going through these one by one. All right, section C, building drawing students, following the CSA technical drawing, SBA requirements are as follows. For this section, the candidate needs to produce a sketch, produce a floor plan, produce a foundation plan, slash a roof plan, slash sectional details, such as a foundation and eaves, and at least two elevations and a section view. Section C is a business plan. A business plan is a formal document that will guide a company in making its decisions for a three-year or five-year plan. Section C for the building students. This section is a product design specification. And what you need to do, you need to consult with your teacher to see exactly how the teacher will be assigning this part of the assignment. So in today's video, we looked at the different um, parts of the SBA that are required by the building students. For Section C, the student is required to complete a set of building drawing plans 
and a business plan and also a product um, design specification. Please consult your teacher for, for more details. This brings us to the end of today's video. In today's video, we looked at the technical drawing building option SBA requirements. Yes. In the next video, we'll be looking at building drawings. So we'll be looking at the floor plan, the production of the elevations, um, a side plan, and if time permits, we'll also do a, a roof plan. All right, and further down the line, maybe another month or so, we'll be looking at the different sections of a building. Okay, so you can look out for that. But in a, in 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 a few few days from now, maybe two days, we'll be seeing a building drawing plan and some elevations to match those plans. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like the video if you uh, like the video and. Um, Take care until we meet again. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share.